Hi, my name is Fabien Cubizol. I'm a geophysicist working at ELIS. In this video, we're going to deal with the cross plots, especially with a new tool for making cross plots of wall logs and applying automatic classifications available in PaleoScan 2018. The aim of cross plots is to highlight or extract particular seismic events from several input data. By blending two or three volumes, horizons, horizon stacks, or to the lines, we can create cost plots to identify and extract geobodies or volumes from classification. Here we have an example of a blending viewer with three input volumes. From these volumes, a blending image is computed and you can define the percentage of display of each input in order to display more or less of the different attributes. The blending viewer works for volumes, but also for 2D lines, or horizons, or horizon stacks, and is linked to the crossplot tool. Concerning the well logs, this is a log viewer of the software which is linked to the crossplot tool. Then, thanks to the interactivity of the crossplots, it is quite easy to focus on an area of interest to classify, manually or automatically, the data and it allows you to extract geobodies in 3D. Two methods of automatic classification are available in PaleoScan 2018. First, the self-organizing map, which allows you to classify the density of points into several classes. A neural network finds the best node and then the classes are found via triangulation. For the k-means algorithm, nodes are randomly picked and then are moved to the center of gravity of the neighboring poles. These methods can be applied on logs to identify classes along wells, or on horizons, for instance, to align seismic events. Thanks to the retromapping, this is easy and quick to display and extract geobodies such as channels in 3D. Now, let's start the demo in PaleoScan. We first select the cross plot module here, and here we have three buttons. The first one corresponds to the two channel cross plot viewer, the second one is the three channel cross plot viewer, and the third one is for the cross plot of logs. In the core application, four buttons are available for two channel blending and then making cross plots according to the different objects, volumes, 2D lines, horizon stack, or horizons. If you would like to learn more about this, please watch the other cross plot and classification video on our YouTube channel. For making cross plot from a three channel blending viewer, here, you need to activate the advanced interpretation add on module. Then, the corresponding buttons for each kind of object are now enabled. Volumes, to the lines, horizon stacks, and horizons. Today, we will extract a channel as a geobody from horizon stacks of the Maui block in New Zealand. As input, we will use three horizon stacks computed from spectral decomposition using the MOLET wavelet at 36 Hz, 49 Hz, and 67 Hz. Then you click on Update Cross Plot in order to display the cross plot between all the amplitudes between the three viewers. If you want to focus on an area of interest, you can manually select uh, the area of interest directly on the Horizon Stack Viewer. If we zoom here, and we want to extract, for example, this channel, you can select a mouse mode selection, for example, ellipse, rectangle, polyline, or with a brush. Just have to click, select the particular area, and then click on show. You can see here the corresponding points from the cross plot into this area. For this demonstration, we will use the brush mode and select this part of the gel body and show the results. Now, you can select several points in order to create classes. For example, you can highlight this 
points in order to create one class or ally these points to create another class. You can of course manually edit this selection like this for example. You can also change the orientation of the selection. From these two classes you can create only one class and you can merge them. Once you are okay with your uh, selection, you can go to the Output tab in order to create an horizon stack or a geo body. Here we will create a geo body for the selection. You can display and save it. We can note that we have created several geo bodies and not only the one that we want to use. So you can select it and go to the geo body toolbar in order to reduce and split the geo body. So from all these geo bodies, you can easily select the desired one. Okay, like this. So we have manually extracted easily a geo body from crossplot from Horizon Stacks. Now let's go back to the crossplot tool in order to use the automatic classification. In the automatic classification tab, two methods are available, the self-organizing map and the k-means algorithm. So first we select the self-organizing map. You just have to select the number of classes you want to display. For example, here we will create 16 classes. The classification is then displayed in the crossplot viewer and a color is assigned to each classes in order to be retro mapped into the horizon stack viewer. Then we can also use the k-means algorithm and select a number of nodes and create classes. Then we can create the geo body and extract it in 3D. And here we are the results of the classification in 3D. For the cross plot of world logs, the corresponding button is available in the core application. Two input logs can be selected as input for the axis, for example here the acoustic impedance and the shear impedance, and the third one can be used for the color range, here the gamma ray. Then you just have to drag and drop a selected well in order to display it in the log viewer. A function can also be used in order to create different axes for each log. By clicking on refresh, the cross plot between the three logs is updated. From this viewer, it's also possible to create regressions in order to create a relationship between the logs. You just have to go to this tab and then you can create a linear logarithmic exponential power of polynomial regression. For example, we can create linear regression and adjust the parameter to match the corresponding points. Once these curves have been parameterized, you can save them and use them directly into the calculator. If you want to focus on an area of interest, you just have to click here and select manually the point that you want to align. Then you click on show to see them on the corresponding cross plot. You can continue like this in order to see other points. Then from these dots, you can start creating classes. You just have to select a mode and edit the classification. The result of this selection is updated in real time into the log viewer. It is also possible to create an automatic classification. You go to the corresponding tab and select the method that you want to use, self-organizing map or the k algorithm. Then you just have to select the corresponding parameters in order to create the classes. Thank you for watching. Please contact the LEC port for any question. And do not forget to subscribe to see other videos of PaleoScan. Thank you.